Welcome to Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits Reviews. Tonight I'm doing a, a beer kit and a beer review combined. Uh, recently I brewed Evil Dog Double IPA. Um, makes 7.5% alcohol and that's at its lowest. Very strong beer. Um, what does it tell you? American style double strength India Pale Ale. Combined with our special craft beer yeast, this is the recipe for a true craft beer. Full of potent bitterness, bursting with aromas of pine and grapefruit. Hmm. Now, for the beer kit part of it, this comes in in its own bag. Um, you don't need sugar. So, you get the bag, obviously you're going to sterilise your fermenting bucket i.e. that um, you just pour this in but first things first you've got to warm it up so you're either going to put up you're either going to uh, put it into a jug first to warm it up so it pours out easier or you're going to after you've poured it initially as much as you can get out you're going to put hot water in until you get it all out you make sure you get it all out and then you have a combination of hot and cold water don't go above about 25 degrees you're going to get it up to about 23 24 litres sprinkle the yeast on and within seven to ten days depending on how warm the room is you're going to get a nice uh, beer now afterwards um, so for the beer kit itself a uh, bulldog make a lot of absolutely Belting uh, beers, cider kits. Don't think they do a wine kit. No, I don't think they do. But uh, yeah, beers and uh, ciders and lagers. And uh, yeah, as a kit, um, ease of use, ease of brewing, you know, you've got to give it a good 4.8 out of 5. Probably the best kits on the market. Price wise, uh, about 20 quid and upwards. You will pay more on eBay. If you can afford to go to certain ones, like creative winemaking, uh, if you spend over 45 quid, you can get uh, get it for 20 quid each, you know, and then you get free um, delivery over 45 quid, so worth, worth trying. The beer itself, 7.5% for me is at the low end. Last year I brewed this, and when it first came out of the bottle, tried it, it was 7.5% straight away from fermentation. When it went into secondary fermentation, when it went into the bottle, a bit of sugar. I haven't overdone my sugar this time because last year I did it. And it sent the alcohol level through the roof. And in fact, it was that strong that it was knocking you back, you know. So really strong. It says on the side here. Our Evil Dog Double American IPA has been created with a powerful dose of American Simcoe and Summit hop varieties and fine selection of malts. Com combined with our special craft beer yeast, this is the recipe for a true craft beer. Full of potent bitterness, bursting with the aromas of pine and grapefruit. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out a bottle from my... Uh, Vast uh, supplies, beers. Get one that's not. Oh God! There we go. So, as you can see, dark amber in colour. Probably not as clear as it should be. That might be my fault. Obviously, look at the fill of the bottle. Look at that. It's absolutely solid. And I only put a spoon in. And that's actually less than what I should I could have put in. So solid. And then as soon as I do that, look at the carbonation. Right, let's pour this out. I'm gonna don't know if you'll be able to catch me pouring it out because I dare it be too slow. Luckily it's not as potent as it was last year. Oh, Put about half a pint out, that's all I'm going to need. If you're looking for a strong beer, this is one of the strongest. 
strong job is, you know. Uh, let's put that up there out of the way. So as you can see, a bit cloudy, but that might be mine. Good carbonation inside or lacing, you know. Fruity smell. Yes, definitely some grapefruit. About the pine so much. Let's give it a taste. I've just had my dinner, chicken kebab, so. Oh, yeah. Plenty of pine, plenty of grapefruit, a nice bitterness. And this is it. I think this is absolutely spot on. It's not as clear as I'd like it. That might be my fault uh, with my shed and using different ferment fermentation. This for me is the best fermentation bucket behind me. I've got another one uh, that I sometimes use with a smaller neck. I'm not so keen on that. If you're going to buy yourself a bucket, get one of them. Much better. But anyway, absolutely bang on lovely you know it's a double IPA um, you're not going to want to drink too much of this that's why I only poured half a pint I've already had a cherry beer a minute ago and, re and reviewed that so I don't want to get too sloshed plus I'll get a bollock in there if I do very easy going um, for a home brew beer against a shop bought beer it's, yeah, it's absolutely comparable. I find the Bulldogs and also the St. Peter's um, um, brands uh, just as good as, as long as you stick to the um, in, instructions you're told, they're just as good as what comes out of the bottle. And in some ways, maybe even better because sometimes, you know, um, there's not there's less processes that you're going through than they go through. Any downside is it's cloudy. It's not as clear as it should be. Cloudy beers aren't a problem, but you know it's uh, sometimes it's, it's just you just want it want it to look better. Oh, absolutely spot on. I don't have too much because it's one of them where um, this at the moment is 7.5%. If I leave some bottles a few months, that's a big if. But um, it's going to go, it's going to go up as the secondary fermenter fermentation kicks in. It's going to get even higher. So out of five, mm. the kit itself I gave a 4.8 out of five. I think that's valid. I think the instructions are clear. The ingredients, the hot, you know, all of it is absolutely spot on. And the range they do, you know. Um, as for this, hmm. it is, oh God, it's really strong. I might later on, I might have a pint or two, but uh, at the moment, I'm going to have to leave it on half a pint. Um, I'll go so far as to say it's a 4.6 out of 5. It's, uh, I rate it that high. So if you're a homebrew fan and uh, you don't want to be paying you know the prices we pay these days and obviously Brewers have got to make a, um, a profit. The government taxes to bits. But to brew your own and to get a, a pub quality pint, you know, and, and then some, you know, 20 quid, 40 pints, you know, 50 pence a pint, you know, for, for two weeks of hassle at the most to go from um, start to finish you know it's absolutely a no-brainer 
I mean, they do so many in the Bulldog range. Uh, uh, the ciders, they do all the ciders that are comparable to the Copperbergs. Um, uh, the amount of beers and lagers they do is stunning. Uh, if you're going to watch, if they ever watch this uh, Bulldog, please do a ginger beer. A reserve ginger beer, something about six or six and a half, seven percent. Oh, you know, you'd be there with me. So, absolutely spot on pint. You know, uh, the cloudiness, I'm not going to take those points off for the cloudiness, that's probably my doing than, any, than their doing. But the taste is absolutely spot on. Um, the best double IPA I've tasted, bar one that used to be at Tesco, it's called Tesco, uh, it was a double American IPA at 9.2%. And that stuff really poof, knocked your blocks off. This is close. And, you know, uh, I looked on the internet and people have had 8.3s. I swear I had over 9% when I, you know, brewed it last. So it's definitely a fantastically strong beer. And they're bestseller, apparently. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll knock off now because if I drink any more of that, I'm going to be battered. And I uh, can't do reviews when you're drunk because, uh, you know, I'd say too much and get myself into trouble. Thanks for watching. Cheers.